boys, boys, boys. Uh, how are you guys are doing? I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you guys are, you know, doing doing your usual day to day stuff. I hope you guys had a good day at school or a good day at work or enjoying your time off, enjoying the enjoying the weather. So this video is basically me explaining why I stopped being a professional FIFA player. Now, uh, I don't want anybody to criticise me or anybody to, you know, I'm still going to be the same person. The only thing that's going to be different is obviously I just don't have my Northampton Town stuff on stream, uh, videos and all that sort of stuff. So I'm not theoretically changing a lot. But I just want to explain to you guys what actually happened, what the do's and don'ts was, and basically how it all, like, yeah, just basically how it worked and that. So, in October 2017, I signed for Northampton Town Football Club. It was all amazing. Do you know what I mean? It's a dream job come true. I actually thought that being a professional FIFA player was going to be uh, not not so much an easy job because obviously you got to commit to something, but I thought it was going to be a lot easier than what it actually turned out to be. Now, I know I may have some Northampton Town subscribers, and I want to just say thank you to all the people that have supported me in the last sixteen to eighteen months to do with obviously playing FIFA, doing other bits around you know around the town and that but I also want to say a massive thank you to all my friends and family like you guys know who you are um, that have supported me in the in this journey like I want to say a massive thank you to to my brother Mark known in the streams as TPO Peewee because it, without him I wouldn't have been able to make certain events um, and you know without making events you don't you, you're not a FIFA player so a massive thank you to him uh, I want to say a thank you to some of the staff at Northampton Town Football Club because every everybody there was, you know, staff and they helped me out in situations that I needed help with. So yeah, as I was saying, in October 2017, I signed for Northampton Town Football Club and it, it was good. It was really good, okay? It was literally, like, one of them things that ticked off a bucket list, like, I've dedicated my life to this game, and now I've managed to get myself to a professional status. And I now, I now just want to talk a little bit about, like, the things that happened. Um, like, I don't want anybody to, like, tweet Northampton or anything like that, because it's all done for. Do you know what I mean? It's all done. It's fine. We left on good terms, um, but yeah. So I used to I used to have to travel to Northampton um, on. I used to work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I used to have to travel to Northampton on a Tuesday afternoon uh, and record a video with a uh, with a selected player. Uh, whether he was injured or whether he just finished training or whatever, but I used to record with players. Now this immediately come to a stop because um, I would travel to Northampton Town Stadium um, and record with a player. And three weeks in a row I travelled up to Northampton Town and there was not a player in sight. Nobody cared to tell me. I was working six till two and then I come home got ready literally had to be at Northampton by 3.30 at the latest and then there wasn't a player there so um, unfortunately that wasn't obviously a positive thing and then we had the FIFA soccer schools they were really good um, massive shout out I know some of the FIFA soccer school lads still watch my YouTube videos and my streams and stuff so a massive thank you to them guys that have came and watch the event well being to the the events and stuff it was been a pleasure to run them uh the there was things that happened within the club that obviously the circumstances changed like northampton got relegated um and 
relegation only means one thing, cutbacks, because you're not going to have the same amount of money coming in. Um, Imperial Cars, you guys know Imperial Cars used to sponsor my streams and stuff. They had Imperial Cars flipping around at the bottom. But it being a professional FIFA player does not only put pressure on yourself, it put pressure on your family. Now, I tried so hard to see this through. Like, I, I really liked doing what I did. Um, but it just got to a point where I was literally running myself into the ground. Like, I was playing 30 games of the weekend league. I was still working. I had to travel to Northampton on a home game and trying to qualify for events. And it was literally like everything was just jam-packed jam into one weekend. And it was just, it's just too much. Like, I, I could only imagine like how people feel working full-time jobs playing weekend league being foot champs verified trying to play qualifiers trying to get yourself out there already as a professional so i take my hat off to you if i had a hat <laughs> but um i just want to say like thank you so much for the journey that you guys have helped me through um, I'm not changing whatsoever I'm still going to be doing my daily streams um, I'm still going to try and you know be the best FIFA player that makes me that I, I can be um, I still am playing in a few tournaments as we speak right now um, partnered with well partnered with another professional FIFA player uh, but yeah I, I, I just there's, there's so much to this story or to to the past that I would love to tell you guys but unfortunately for obviously my my side of things and Northampton side of things um, it's probably best if I not say it because uh, obviously I don't want to upset fans and they probably don't want to upset their fans as well but um, cut long story short we we just separated we left on good terms there's not really much to it um, but there's enough to it to make a story, if that makes any sense. So, I, w I will be I will be back. That's the reason why I haven't really been streaming a lot in February because um, I had to see out a month's notice, um, which was the twenty fifth or the twenty sixth. That's the reason why this video is going out today. It literally, as I'm recording it, uh, and yeah, I basically I basically just want to say thank you again to the staff at Northampton Town well selected staff at Northampton Town not so much all but um, I want to say thank you to um, all the people that have supported me in the journey my subscribers you guys have been awesome um, but things are about to get even more awesome okay I'm telling you now there's going to be stuff coming on my channel that you have not seen from me yet um, and there will be stuff on my channel that you also haven't seen anywhere else so like pin back your ears and yeah i don't really know why i just said that but yeah anyway uh i will be back i will be better than ever uh but i hope you guys did uh, or do understand that the circumstance that i was in was very tough um i had a lot of commitments to make um and yeah it, it was it was very tough it was very tough but I, I just hope you guys understand and I hope you guys don't go off oh, for God's sake Reapers do you know what I mean like why are you leaving um, but unfortunately it was one of them things so yeah basically that's that's going to be the long and the short of this video um, let's let's get in the comments if you're still watching it let's get Reapers in the let's get Reapers in the comments um, if you guys are still going to support me if you're watching this video so let's get Reapers in the comments let's make sure you like uh, and yeah, so I want to say my social medias have changed a little bit by the way You're probably gonna see like a completely rebranding um, On my header of my Twitter and my YouTube and a new logo on my Twitter and my YouTube and Obviously my bio and stuff is gonna change and all that blah de blah de blah so on and so forth. So Thank you guys. It's been a pleasure um, I'll be back live again tomorrow uh, and yeah, it's been it's been awesome. And yeah, thank you, thank you uh, for all the kind support, all the 
all the nice comments that I've already had that I've told a few people about. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure as always, and I'll see you guys in my next video or live stream. Let's go.